Hi, this is Saskia from Paper and Journaling and today I'm going to unbox a uh, Leuchtturm uh, 1917 uh, and um, I will check uh, if some pens and markers will what they will react on the paper and it's always exciting when you have a new uh, bullet journal um, and it looks so nice and I love green this is olive green and I love the color so I hope the paper will work as well as good as uh, as it looks like and um, well around this uh, there is a paper with some information it has uh, 251 uh, pages uh, 80 grams paper is it and uh, a lot of thank yous in different uh, languages which I can try to learn and um, well they say it's a, it's a good book but you never know so we're gonna try uh, some uh, other information inside and uh, some uh, where you can write your address here is uh, uh, a possibility to write down the uh, what you uh, what you write, wrote on the pages they are numbered and in the back side there is oh there are some stickers yes that's the last page there are some stickers and um, yeah well that's always handy to have some stickers for some pages and a big white pocket to pay for the stickers or something like that that's always useful well it feels it feels it feels good it's uh, not heavy it feels good and these are the pens i'm going to test it's a faber castell fountain pen a kaweco fountain pen a pigma brush pen a micron number no. eight a stabilo pen 88 eco line tombow koi coloring brush Faber Castell marker, uh, Stabilo marker, Versa color ink, Distract ink, and Stazon ink. And we shall see what the, these are going to do on the paper. Um, I hope it uh, will work out uh, very well. I'm going to try it on the last page of the book. This is the the, the, the end page, and um, here I'm going to try the the pens, and I hope uh, they will work fine. I don't know. I found out that my Pigma pen doesn't, it's a brush pen, but it, 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 it's, I don't know, um, I think uh, the, 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 the pen, the, the, as if uh, the, 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 there is something wrong with it. Uh, this is the Micron number 8, I'm always uh, coloring with this pen, so I'm uh, making the letters already a little bit thicker. And now I'm going to try uh, a Stabilo pen. They are very popular in the, the Netherlands, Germany, Switzerland. I saw them in Austria as well. I don't know uh, where else in the world uh, uh, they are popular. This is a Faber-Castell fountain pen. And I'm writing with a green color. And uh, I love this uh, Kaweco pen. It's a very small pen uh, with an orange color in it. I have a lot of fountain pens, so uh, I want to try them. And this is my uh, Koi uh, brush pen. And now a uh, Tombow. And the easiest way to remember all the colors is, of course, to write down what they do. And I have an Eco line that's a very Dutch product, um, but I saw it also in shops in uh, Belgium and France. So, and now we shall see what it does on the second page. Oh, in some ways you can see it through, and some are a little bit worse than the others. It's all, it's 80 grams paper. I didn't expect that, that you could see uh, so many of them. And I'm going to try to, to write down a little bit more uh, with my uh, Kaweco pen.
If you write a story, do you see everything? That's it's it's just just a sentence, but um, <laughs> to know if 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 what what we're going to see if uh, for the next page. Mm, you can see it still a little bit. It's a bit a bit difficult uh, for on the camera, but uh, with a Kaweco pen you can see it a little bit. But it's always different if you uh, write over it and. Um, do some things. This is a Faber Castell marker and it's a very heavy color so uh, the chance that you will see this on the next page is very big. And this is a Stabilo marker. Um, and this is a little bit, oh that's a little bit more than, than I expected from, uh, from this paper but um, uh, the Stabilo is quite fine. And I have some inked. I have um, Stazon inked that will that will go through simply because the the the, the boxes uh, the, the, the the this ink is more for on other things so the chance that that will um, go through is uh, quite quite big and I have uh, distract distress ink and um, um, versa color. But I like the boxes of the Stazon ink. They are they are so beautiful. Yeah, I know that's a wrong way to buy it, but uh, <laughs> it's it's true. And um, the Versa color inked. I have a lovely stamp with feathers, so I want to go to try that. And that's a very soft color. Oh, it's it's so soft color that this won't see. I mean, you can't hardly see it on the camera. You see it in the booklet. It's very soft and uh, what I expected. In this case, the distract ink uh, is... I'm going to try with other colors. Maybe that's better. Um, the distract ink you can see that's I didn't expect that I'm doing the text as well with the distract this distract distress ink and um, the first a little bit darker color and that was stupid from me because the distracting i didn't clean it so uh, the distract was still there now i hope i do it in again i hope to get it green i'm sorry to say it but i'm not a very good uh, uh, stamp cleaner this is better and i will try this one as well And now we shall see what this is going to do. And the Stazon is quite thick, uh, but the distress, yeah, this was a little bit with a distress uh, between, but the Versa color is, I think, the best ink to use on this page. And I will write the, the names from the uh, ink uh, besides it, so I, don't, so I know what it is. And then I close the book. And I will open it to see if a fountain pen leaves marks. And they leave a little bit of mark. It's it's dry. Uh, it's 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 a sh fast way of drying, but not very fast. I don't know if I'm uh, happy with it, but uh, please advise me what um, bullet journals uh, are good and where I can use it for. Thank you. Bye bye.